Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to the Positive Experience Podcast, where we look at the good, the bad, and the ugly in living your best life. Today's segment is called In the Trenches, where we look behind the scenes at what's happening in the clinic. Hey guys, how are you going? I'm Lecky. I'm Avi. And uh, welcome to the Positive Experience. Today we're in the trenches and we, we've got the theme of questions and answers, Q&A. And today's going to be a bit of a spin because uh, we usually go through Q&A every day of every working week in the clinic and also in other formats that we'll talk about in a minute. So, uh, you know, just to start us off, uh, an example that we always get asked is, you know, if we're uh, talking to someone that's coming in with an injury, say it's a shoulder, and we've given a particular um, diagnosis of the shoulder injury, there's going to be a lot of questions that you'll fire at us about what you should do, what you shouldn't do, what are my restrictions, when can I get back to playing sport? So, you know, as we're fielding all these questions, we want to give you effective answers, but not overcomplicate things. You know, so our tagline is making healthy simple. So a technique that Avi and I use is using kind of like um, examples, you know. So, for example, if I'm suggesting that you might have a muscle tear of one of your muscles in the shoulder, I kind of explain it like two mops that come apart. And so as you tear the muscle, then obviously it's going to be painful. And then with that, there's going to be a program that I'll write out for you. So, you know, you fire out a lot of questions and then I give you one simple answer. You can sort of understand two mops coming apart. And then from there, it gives you a good foundation to follow our rehab program. You know, is there is there any particular metaphors or examples that you use, Avi, for... Um, I know you've got a few for your back and the core stuff. Yeah, I've got a fair few for the core and back. Um, but sticking with the shoulder, just to give you another one with the shoulder. So most of the time, a lot of people come in with neck pain. And we get a lot of questions, why does neck pain happen? How can you get headaches and stuff? So think of it like like the kind of like um, the head like a bowling ball. So the bowling ball is quite heavy. So everyone can picture how heavy bowling balls can be. And then just picture the head being the same and then imagine trying to carry that all day around and especially if your big postural muscles down at the back here are not doing the job what's going to work harder to hold this head upright these ones and that's why you get that stiffness around this area and the head otherwise if these weren't working your head would just fall straight down always so that's why bowling ball quite heavy so you're going to have stronger structures to support it that's the one i usually use that makes a bit of Understanding, I suppose. Yeah, so I guess with, with Q&A, we didn't want to go through and give you specific questions that people ask us. It's just that we're always ready with the answers because uh, we do see a lot of repeat stories and repeat mechanisms of how people injure themselves. You might be repetitively bending, you might be sitting for a long period of time, then you go to reach and pick something up and then your back goes. You know, so I think a, a lot of the things that we're trying to do is make sure we uh, you know, get an idea of what's wrong with the injury that you're coming to see us for and that we can describe a way that you can fix it with a simple answer and with some simple homework that we can give you. Okay, so just on that, yes, we'll, we'll see you in the clinic and we can help you with some simple Q's and A's, but there's other scenarios where we also field questions. So we also run a program, it's called Pro Trainer, where we partner university students who have first aid qualifications with community clubs, mostly rugby, and they are also flying under the, the wing of uh, professionals like sports trainers and physiotherapists. And when we're fielding questions uh, within, within the sporting context, it's very different because you'll see someone that doesn't come a couple of days later, like we do sometimes in the clinic, it's just happened. You know, someone may have gone to sprint to chase someone down and then ping, you know, their calf goes. So I think when we're getting questions acutely, like it's just happened versus subacutely a couple of days later, versus people who have chronic pain, they've had it for a long, long time, the way that we field your questions and then answer them is gonna vary case by case, you know? So, Avi, do you have any examples of any fresh injuries you saw down at, um, you know, down at the footy park or on the rugby field? Something that's happened recently? Um, recently, probably, oh, one of the boys was just, uh, running out iron armor and as I was slowing down, I just heard like a little pinch down go in the hamstring uh, pretty much, it was it was a hamstring tear. It wasn't too severe because he could still hobble around, but we just rested him and just gave him the right advice and had to field the questions on what the best recovery mechanism is and what to do and what the steps were compared to someone that would come in that already has done the hamstring, but they're two, two, three weeks post. They're, that way it'll be more rehab. 
but this way we'll be trying to manage the inflammation, just give them instructions on what to do and then take the right precautions. So when they get to the rehab stage, the hamstring um, has sort of healed up and you can go strengthen it. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, asking good question really helps us and then that way we can give you great effective answers. Um, and shifting to another scenario, uh, we also field Q, Q and A's when we're doing some public speaking events. You know, so a uh, big shout out to Kylie and, and Annie who invited me to speak recently at the Pacific Connections Expo on Labor Day. Uh, it was a couple of days ago at the time of recording. And you know, it's, uh, it's, it's never, uh, it's, it's nerving, obviously, getting out in front of people and, and saying a few words, but it made it a bit easier because I was passionate about the things I'm talking about. So it was on health and, and that sort of thing. And so I had got through my uh, established presentation, so I was going through, having a chat, having a yarn, and then at the end, there was some questions that I was kind of prepared for, but uh, you know, there were some questions on what types of foods to eat, a lady had a question about diabetes, another question um, was about fasting, and you know, it was, um, it was really interesting because it's not a lot of the questions that I usually field, but you know, I did put myself out there and, and speak about things I'm really interested in, and uh, that was, again, another different type of scenario that we get Q's and A's for. And, and on that, there's a few other seminars and things that we'll be speaking on. Harvey the Big Fella's got one coming up on the 21st of March, coming up. What can you tell us about that? So I got partner up with my good friend, Nate. So shout out to Nate, Mason Kedai. He's one of the trainers at 12 Rounds. So I'm gonna be partnering up and doing a seminar with him with the, just working on the lifts and just working on techniques. So techniques, everything, as you probably notice, um, saves you from getting injured, especially when you're gonna lift up heavy loads and the kind of training they do it down at 12 Rounds. It's quite in high interval training. So a lot of intensity. So when they're lifting some weight and they, as they get tired, that form's gonna go out the window. So higher chance of injury. So. What Nathan's proposing is to get the technique on point and just how they can sort of self-manage um, at, the, at the thing so it doesn't wind them down for the rest of the workout because as you get tired, form usually goes out the window. So we're going to be working on how to get the technique right and just drop the weight down if needed during the session. So that's going to be the main... Exciting. Yeah. If, is this the first main gig that you'll be um, sort of getting up and speaking at? Uh, I suppose you speak at Iron Armour and you do a yeah. few presentations there. Oh. Probably the main seminar where people are actually coming in to listen in. Yep. But yeah, at Iron Armour, I had to teach them all about the activations and got them incorporating that in front of everyone and told them why we have to do it. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm the same as you. So when I'm passionate about something, it's not as hard to find. But when it's something new or I'm not as, interest, as interested, it's, yeah. I find it a little bit harder to speak into the public. Yeah. But we'll see how we go after this one. <laughs> okay, so 21st of March, we'll put some details up of where that is if you're interested. You know, get down and catch up with Nate Navi down at 12 rounds in Hoppers Crossing. Hoppers Crossing, okay, cool. Um, just another couple of shout outs. So um, I'll be speaking at a couple of events coming up. Uh, one in uh, the 26th, 26th of March, it's a Thursday. Uh, it's a year 11 in year 12 sort of um, meet and greet. And it's with uh, uh, Sharis uh, mentoring, so really happy to help out there. I think there's a lot of ECE guys that are having to think about whether health might be a career path, so happy to, to share some experiences. And also, our friends over at Iron Iron Academy uh, are having a new breed, new a uh, breed athletes conference coming up shortly, and the theme is momentum. So uh, you know, we'll see what that looks like. It's in Sunday, two Sundays from now, the 22nd of March. So check out the details. Um, we'll have them linked to this video post um, down below and you know feel free if you're free on those dates to come down and say hello um, for both Arby's event and for Iron Armour and for this event down at Melbourne University. So Q&A, a a bit of a spin today. Uh, you know we field questions all the time. We try and guess, give you the best answers that we have and a lot of these answers come from experience and a lot of the experience does cost time and money. So, you know, Arvi's gone and done a lot of um, personal development and, and training recently, and now it's come to a point where he's, he's really confident and ready to start teaching, uh, which is, you know, really good thing for me to see, and um, I hope you guys out there get a lot of benefit from it. Cool. Arvi, any last words? Um, no, no real last words. I was pretty sum summarized it really well there. So Awesome. <laughs> catch you for the next Trenches episode. All right, guys. See ya.